Assalamu alaikum, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we'll continue basic ECG course and uh, today presentation on normal ECG and ECG waves. My name is Ahmed Al-Hadidi. I am emergency medicine consultant. Normal ECG consists of many waves, B wave, Q wave, R wave, S wave, T wave, and U wave. And we'll discuss each wave uh, on, uh, alone in next slides. Starting with the B wave, B wave represents atrial depolarization. It is uh, uh, at the beginning of the impulse and best seen in lead two, where the lead axis is almost the same as the atrial depolarization axis. And duration, normal duration for B wave is less than three small squares. Normal amplitude is about uh, two and a half small or less than two and a half small squares. P wave is always positive in lead one and lead two, and always negative in lead AVR, and usually it's biphasic in lead V1. Uh, after B wave, we'll have BR interval. BR interval uh, is from the beginning of B wave till the beginning of the complex consists of the B wave itself and PR segment. It represents uh, depolarization uh, uh, of the AV node or conduction of the AV node itself or delay in conduction of AV node itself. We measure it from uh, B wave, which is atrial depolarization till the beginning of the ventricular depolarization. Normally it's from three to five small squares which equals 0.12 till 0.2 seconds. And uh, it can be short PR interval, less than three small squares, like in pre-excitation syndromes, like in Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, or in junctional rhythm. It can be prolonged PR interval, more than five small squares in heart block, uh, or other name is AV nodal block. Q wave is the first negative uh, deflection in the complex, first negative wave in QRS complex, and uh, it uh, represents the septal depolarization. Uh, normal or non pathological Q wave, Q wave can be present normally in lead one, AVL, lead five, uh, V5, and V6. Abnormal or pathological Q waves which uh, when amplitude of the Q wave uh, is more than 25% of the amplitude of the R wave, or amplitude is more than two small squares in depth, or more than one small square in the width. These are example of abnormal pathological Q waves uh, here and here. R wave is the first positive wave in the complex, and it represents ventricular depolarization. Normal R wave progress from V1 till V6, or, uh, uh, because of panoramic view of the ventricles. So when moving from right lead, which is V1, till uh, towards the left lead or lateral lead, of the uh, V6, which showing us the thicker left ventricle. So uh, the complex, as you can see, bro normally progress from negative, mainly negative complex, mainly negative complex, the transition, transition, and mainly positive complex, mainly positive complex. The area of transition can be moving between these leads, but normally between V3 and V4. So our wave uh, in, uh, uh, towards the lateral leads is much more bigger than the R wave on V1 and V2. And usually R wave in V5 is larger than R wave in V6. S wave is a negative wave after positive R wave. So the next negative wave after the R wave is the S wave. And normally S wave uh, is large in right leads V1 and V2, and it decreases or progressively becomes smaller 
towards the lateral leads until almost no S wave in V6. You can see large V, uh, uh, large S wave in V6 uh, or lead one in right bundle branch block. And also you can see large S wave in lead one as part of S1, Q3, T3 as a criteria for pulmonary embolism. ST segment, uh, it starts after the end of the complex, after the end of S wave till the beginning of T wave. Usually or normally ST segment is isoelectric or flat when compared to PR segment here before the complex. So it will be isoelectric in the same horizontal line as PR segment. Any ST segment elevation or ST segment depression more than one millimeter or one small square is uh, significant. We have what we call G point. G point is a junction point between the complex and ST segment. Exactly this point, what we call ST, uh, sorry, what we call junctional or G point. T wave uh, represents the repolarization of both ventricles. In the T wave, usually it's symmetrical with gradual sloping of the first half than the second half. Uh, usually T wave follows the same direction of the QRS complex. So if QRS complex is positive, usually T wave is positive. If QRS is negative, usually T wave is negative. Uh, normal in uh, chest leads, it's, it can be seen that T wave is negative normally in lead V1, V2, and sometimes and mainly in females also in V3, you will find the negative T waves. Uh, also, T wave uh, normal amplitude is more than one uh, uh, eighth of the amplitude of the preceding R wave, but not exceeding two thirds of amplitude of the preceding R wave. Also, we can generally say that normally the amplitude or height of T wave not more than five millimeters in limb leads and not more than 10 millimeters in chest leads. Abnormal T wave examples like a flat T wave, uh, it's flat or isoelectric. This is abnormal T wave. Also tall T wave is abnormal. Peaked T wave, what we call peaked or tinted T wave is uh, abnormal, biphasic T wave, like this example, like in V2 and V3, this is biphasic T wave, is our first deflection is positive and second one is negative, or first is negative and second one is positive, both are abnormal, and also inverted T waves is also abnormal uh, T waves. So flat, tall, big, biphasic and inverted. This is example of abnormality in T waves. QT interval from the beginning of the complex, QRS complex till the end of the T wave. And this represents the total duration for ventricular depolarization and repolarization. Should be from 0.35 till 0.45 seconds and usually decrease if heart rate increases. And normal uh, estimation for the uh, uh, QT interval, it's the uh, should be less than half the distance between RR interval. So normally it's less than half the distance. If it exceeds the half the RR interval, so this is prolonged or delayed QT interval. So here, this is the normal. And because it's less than half the RR interval, F exceeds the, the, the half the interval, so it's prolonged QT interval. This is roughly. Uh, usually it's measured in AVL lead as uh, it's no prominent U wave in this lead. U wave represents delayed repolarization of Purkinje fibers 
but actual cause of the U wave and which why it's in some patients we can see U wave and others we cannot see. It's not unclear till now. And there is many theories for the U wave. It's a small rounded symmetrical wave uh, can be seen uh, positive, mainly in lead two, amplitude less than two millimeter and direction is the same direction as T wave. And significance is few wave is uh, if, if not much significant. Uh, it can be, of course, more prominent in slow heart rates. Thank you, and uh, see you next video, inshallah, for our ECG course.